Welcome to a special edition of Watch Me Code q and I've got an article up on DerekBailey.com that talks about function scope and variable hoisting in JavaScript. If you're interested in those topics specifically, check out the blog post and be sure to check out previous episodes of Watch Me Code where I do discuss that in detail. Down toward the bottom though, I have a demonstration of ES6 and block scope with let. And I had a question that come up based on this. Somebody asked me on Twitter what I was using to actually run this ES6 code, since Node.js doesn't currently support this and most browsers don't support it either. Well, what I'm using is IOJS, and IOJS is really just a fork of Node that aims to bring Node up to date with V8 Engine and other features and functionality that Node hasn't yet brought into play. So, using IOJS, I can take this code out of this example and run it with the ES6 block scope. But before I do that though, I want to demonstrate the current block scope and variable hoisting real quick. I've got a very simple example that just sets one variable inside of an if statement and a second variable inside of another if statement. It then uses a console.log to do some simple math and produce the output. When I head over to my console and run IOJS on this example file, we can see that it does output 3 as expected. Now this is happening because the variables are being hoisted to the top of the function as expected in JavaScript. If I replace var with let though, which is the ES6 keyword that allows a variable to have block scoping, this code is going to fail for a couple of different reasons. But before I do that, I need to set use strict inside of my code here because of a quirk that exists inside of the V8 engine right now. Now in the future, this use strict won't be necessary, but right now I have to get this in place in order to use let inside of these blocks. Now the let statement, if you're not familiar with it, is an ES6 way of declaring a variable that respects block scope. What that means is, since I've declared this A variable inside of the if statement, and this B variable inside of this if statement, these variables will not be available outside of these if statements they are respecting the scope of the if block. So when I try to run this now inside of IOJS, we end up getting an error telling us that A is not defined. And A is not defined because it was declared with the let syntax inside of this block. This variable only exists inside of this particular block. So I can come in here and I can say console.log A, and when I go back to the console and I rerun this, we do get that piece of information being logged out, but then we still get this error down below because A is not defined on line 13 where I'm trying to use it outside of that scope. To fix this then, I have to say let A up above and let B as well. Now if I delete these, I can rerun this and everything does work as expected. Of course, there's no real point in using let versus var when you're at the function level like this. If you're going to declare your variables at the top of your function, it really doesn't matter if you use let or use var. It has the same effect in this case because the variable is already scoped to the function when using var, and if, you, and if you're using let, it'll still be scoped to that function. But if you want variables to have block scope inside of your application, you can use let inside of that block, and your variable will only be available inside of that scope. So there we have a very quick look at IOJS and ES6 block scope with the let variable. If you'd like to know more about variable scope with the var keyword, be sure to check out Watch Me Code and the JavaScript Fundamentals screencasts where I have an episode that talks about variable scope in JavaScript, including the var keyword, function scope, global scope, and all kinds of fun things that you can do with that.